Hello, it's by chip again. So I received in the mail, in the mail, no, it was like a courier give uh, bring this to me today. But because I kind of like deleted the original video, I just need to make another introduction. So I already opened this package, it came like this. with this case and inside was this little board now this is presented like a solar charging board for the battery and it goes up to 10 amps uh, and normally use like around 8 amps which it's enough for me anyway I bought this because I wanted to put in my in my lab power bench uh, a module that has like constant voltage and constant current. So this has that, and I made some tests with it. You're gonna see after that. I just have a part of it because I just I uh, I can like delete the video the first part. Anyway, it works perfectly. It has three pots here. I'm gonna change that with normal pots so I can adjust it from outside. And from these two pots, I'm regulating the voltage and the amps. And uh, this is the entrance. It has a fuse here. It's an odd fuse, but it has a fuse. And little more, some, capa some capacitors. Um, heat sink for the for the MOS for the fat for the MOSFET I think and the the quality of the board it's very nice and I'm very pleased with it. However what I what I've seen here it doesn't really have a an LED to indicate when it goes in constant current. So yeah that sucks. Anyway, let's put it on and uh, on test. Okay, so it's drawing like two amps from the power bench. My bench, my bench power supply. I think this is kind of like the limits of it. So it's like 30 volts at uh, two point something amps. 2.6 amps I think the transformer so this is a linear power supply so that will be the, the limit for it maybe a little bit more and I'm just going to give it a little bit more but it doesn't really go Okay, so it's drawing like Okay, problem is it's melting my my clamps here. I don't really like that. Okay, so with that problem is solved. Let's start. And it does pretty good. But once more, I think I'm kind of like in the limit of my transformer, so. I think they said this can go up to 8 amps or something like that. I'm gonna take a look at it. But it's cool. <laughs> Maybe a liter worm, this one. 
this one is just high school and the inductor there's a I don't really know there's nothing so obviously it does what it should do and it limits the current and the voltage so it's nice one of these days I'm gonna put it inside and make it operational okay so I bought that from eBay and December 1st and we are now in January 2 so one month distance so LTC 3780 the chip which is on the board DC 5 32 volts to 1 to 30 volts 10 amps automatic step up down regulator charging module this is what I brought I bought it from Wav Wavec 2015 well, it has only 1497 uh, soul points or soul items He's, he sold 24 of these and it's a free shipping which is very I, I don't think a lot of uh, eBay sellers are doing free shipping and they send you the the package the item with the courier it, it was it was with tracking number and all of that I need to sign for it and all that crap but normally they ship with the regular post office and they just put it in in, in your mailbox but when you order free shipping they are not going to give you like a tracking number and this guy give, give, gave it to me I think it's yeah it's this one here so very nice service the board is exactly like as described a little this potential part here was like dented a little but I don't think it's not a really big problem anyway here specification brand new and and another thing it looks quality so it's very I'm very uh, pleased with it okay so specification brand new input voltage 5 to 32 output voltage 1 volt uh, to 30 volts continuous adjust adjustable output current 10 amps maximum long time I at all 8 amps so with uh, my transformer that gives me like uh, 3 amps 2.6 amps this will be like overkill so it will be okay output power 80 watts peak 130 more than 80 watts please straight the heat dissipation yeah output 50 millivolts short circuit protection input reverse protection no okay if I put it like at reverse at input that will fry the the board output control flow back no such as backflow charging please at the output series the diode ah you need to put like a diode in series with the with the battery that you want to charge because well uh, the backflow will probably will most surely destroy the chip or something on the board operating range 45-85 degrees size well, I think it's that size the power supply is a kind of high voltage power supply module input voltage below above it's equal to the output voltage the output voltage can be maintained constant for example to set 
Low put to tall volts, then the, vari the variation of the input voltage in the range of 5 to 32 volts. The output voltage in the tall volts invariated. Invariant. I didn't. Well, doesn't really matter how much it will uh, vary the voltage on the input, it will stay constant on the output. So I think that's the, the main thing that this guy is trying to say here. This module has a perfect protection function and can be widely used in notebook power, vehicle power, solar charger, etc. Yeah. Advantage: The input uses replace fuse, replaceable fuse, power supply, and equipment. Equipment. Okay, so the replaceable fuse, I think, is this one here. Right. This one here. If this blows up for any reason, well, it's an odd fuse, but it's a fuse. Constant voltage, constant current, under voltage protection, it's more suitable for solar charging. Well, yeah, this under voltage protection, I think it's the third potentiometer, the third part that I didn't really touch it because I'm going to use this only the current limitation and the voltage limitation. So, yeah, the back plate, the heat conduction silicon film is flexible in bottom module only by for screws with supply yeah okay but doesn't really says which is the minimum which one is the minimum current well I obviously seen is like 800 uh, 200 milliamps but doesn't say here says only the maximum current and the peak current 10 amps and 8, uh, 8 amps and 10 amps but doesn't says minimum current yeah well anyway I should have bought one of these but I didn't really trust my things through at the moment oh, anyway this is 27 euros and I paid for this like 12 12 dollars so yeah it's very nice for the price okay thanks for watching bye